Hey guys, you know, one of my favorite experiments is creating instruments. No, 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 no. Science rock, science rock, science, science So many science, times science. you don't even stop to think about how important sound is. Where does sound come from? Well, you see, in order for sound to be made and heard, we need three things. You need one, a vibration, and a vibration is something that moves back and forth, and the source of the vibration that we have is right here in our throat. And then you need source two, you need something that the sound travels through, where we live above the water, so the sound travels through the air, and then three is you need an ear, something that actually receives the compressed air. So technically, if a tree falls in the forest, does anybody hear it? The answer actually is no, because you have to have an ear to hear it. And I could kind of prove this to you right now. And all I need for this experiment is just a cool sheet of paper. It's actually a little thicker than regular computer paper. This is called cardstock. And what I like to do is just take it and just fold it in half. And I'm gonna turn this ordinary sheet of paper into something extremely magical. And it's gonna make some really amazing sounds. And it's gonna prove that when you have a vibration, sound is made. So I'm gonna take this paper and I'm gonna cut it in half. Just like that. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna roll it around so that I make a really cool cylinder shape. Just like that, kinda of like a telescope, okay? Or a microphone. And then all I need is just a couple pieces of tape. It actually doesn't matter what kind of tape you use. It could be regular scotch tape, it could be regular masking tape. I tape one end here, and I tape the other end here. And then I need my magical paper, which pretty much every family has at home. It's called wax paper, which people use for cooking. And I'm just gonna take it. It's about the same size to make it easy. And I'm gonna cut it in half. And then a rubber band. And that's all I need. And I'm gonna make an amazing instrument. And you're gonna love the sound that you're about to hear. So I take this piece of wax paper. And I'm gonna take it, hold it above the cylinder. I'm gonna wrap it around. And I'm gonna take my rubber band. I'm gonna just wrap it around maybe three or four times so the wax paper is extremely tight. One, two, three, and four. My instrument is done. I made a kazoo. Now the cool part of this kazoo is no sound is made. Well, no sound is made right now because you don't have a vibration. You don't have any air hitting it and it's not hitting your ear. But if you talk into it, check this out. Hello everybody, I sound like a robot. In da -da 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 -da. It sounds awesome, right? Well, one, when I'm talking, the vibration from my voice is being amplified by the wax paper. And you have an extra vibration. It's traveling through the air with compressed air, hits your ear, and that's why you're able to hear, right? Awesome. My kazoo. <laughs>